shorter than that, try to pull him off with some sweat joggers. So that's exactly what we're going to do for this look. We're going to throw on some sweat joggers, throw on the Jordans, and again, more on the casual side of the steel. That's where these Jordans shine. Okay, hopefully this can like stay in place. Um, hopefully it's not too muffled because I kind of move too much. Anyways, what's going on guys? Your boy Ray here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing great. Happy quarantine. Hope everybody is at the crib, cooped up, being safe. I'm just praying for all this to kind of blow over so we can get back to normal. But for now, we just, you know, we just have to wait. There is nothing that we can do about this whole situation. My mic just kind of came off. Hopefully everybody is safe at the crib. You know, there's so many people affected by this whole COVID-19 situation. Kind of stay safe, you know, and just chill at the crib while this entire thing blows over. Hopefully I can bring you guys some sort of entertainment during these hard times. So it's a funny situation right now. A lot of YouTubers are stretching the content making collections of this, collections of that. Soon it's gonna be like, yo, my underwear collection because I have no more content to do. But when it comes to my videos, we have a bunch of things to film. Anyway, so for today's video, I kind of wanted to do something along the lines of me showcasing off the type of pants that I wear with my Jordan 1 slash Dunk Highs. So ever since I started this YouTube channel, I've been a huge proponent of Air Jordan, I was gonna say Air Force Ones, Air Jordan 1s and Nike Dunk Highs. And a few of you guys have been asking me to kind of give you guys a list of the type of pants that I wear. Just right off the rip, this is not gonna be a styling video. And I'm not telling you guys, this is the way you have to wear your Air Jordan ones, your Dunk Highs. This is how I personally wear them. So if there's any kind of elements that you like from this entire video, feel free to incorporate them into your own personal wardrobes. But once again, this is not gonna be a styling video. It's so funny, a lot of YouTubers, you know, when they say like, a lot of you guys have been asking me to do so and so. For me, there's literally like two or three people that ask me, yo Ray, what's your, I guess, bottoms that you wear with these? So I was like, okay, you know what? Let's run a video, why not? I do have a bunch of different pants that I wear uh, when it comes to these sneakers. I'm really excited to showcase it off to you guys. Anyways, yeah, I'm talking too much. Let's get to the video. So we are gonna be doing the pants that I wear with the Jordan 1 slash Nike Dunk Highs. Let's go. Quick FYI, right before we get into the B-roll footage, I'm editing right now and the view looks a little bit crooked. You're gonna see when you're gonna watch the video, but I'm not entirely sure if it's the floor because I know my apartment, the back here is a little bit uneven as I wanted to get some natural light. And I really, really do love the look of natural light compared to having these studio lights. I'm gonna try to figure out for the next video, but just kind of bear with me with this and hope you guys enjoy the video nonetheless. Jump to B-roll footage, let's go. Kicking off the video, let's begin with jogging pants slash more like lounge or like very slouchy type of bottoms. And for the very first item right here, these are the Russell Athletics, just like jogging pants. The color itself is more of like a smoke gray and I heavily use these and I think I featured these in multiple videos as they're pretty much my everydays and when it comes to wearing Jordans with my jogging pants, I prefer having the bottoms a little bit looser than you know the ones with the cinch or like cuff at the bottom. I just don't like the way that it looks when you're wearing a Jordan 1 as it kind of like suffocates the I guess top of the sneaker and it just gives the bottom portion of your outfit a pretty weird silhouette. This particular pair was purchased at the thrift store. And finally, when it comes to wearing my jogging pants with my Jordan 1s, I prefer having a more, I guess, looser fitting pants that engulfs the entire shoe instead of a more, I guess, skinnier type. That's why I don't really wear the jound sweats uh, with my Jordan 1s and prefer having something a little bit more on the looser side. Continuing on to our next set of bottoms, right here we have the Uniqlo U Women Wide Pants. I remember featuring these in the Uniqlo video months back, so if you guys want to check that out. But I absolutely adore these pants when it comes to styling my Jordan 1s. I just love the way that it engulfs the entire shoe, and it definitely gives me the Japanese street style kind of vibe. So if I were to put an ideal fit together, including these pants, for the top portion, I would have something a little bit more smaller. Quick example, first day I can kind of wear a cropped denim or like work jacket or something like a little bit more of a smaller fitting hoodie so I can really kind of play with this silhouette with having the very oversized pants. 
For me, when it comes to styling my Jordan 1s or my Dunks, I pretty much am somebody who wants to, I guess, cover the entire sneaker compared to other people who kind of, you know, set their outfits uh, for the sneaker to be the focal piece. So a lot of people, when it comes to, you know, having the Jordans, they want to wear more tapered or like skinny pants. So the shoe is, I guess, the main draw from the entire outfit. But for myself, when it comes to putting my outfits together, I don't really care about people seeing or not seeing my sneaker. Hence the reason why I am somebody who totally doesn't mind just wearing oversized trousers to hide the entire shoe. Quickly jumping back to the pants, they're extremely comfortable. It does feel like a pajama slash, I guess, jogging pants. And I wear these pretty much every single day when I go out for long hours. They're extremely versatile when it comes to styling. So I would definitely recommend you guys pick these pants up if they're available at Uniqlo. I'm going to try to find a link. If I can't, they might be discontinued, but just crossing your fingers that they still have them. All right, so we're done talking about lounge slash jogging pants. And right now we are going to be talking about my favorite type of clothing workwear and right here we have the Dickies 874s in this beautiful forest green and I pretty much sound like a broken record at this point in my opinion these are the perfect pants to wear with your Jordan 1s and your Nike Dunk Highs. So I absolutely love the structure of the pant it's like a nice straight cut it doesn't go like oversized baggy skinny or anything it's a very straight cut type of trouser and it comes in a plethora of different colorways. You got your navies, browns, olives, forest green, black, even if you want white pants. I don't like white pants, but you got the option to wear with white pants. And the beautiful thing I love about these pants is that if you're, I guess, on the fence or starting to experiment with workwear, and you already have, I guess, a Jordan or a Dunk in your possession, you could definitely, you know, test it out with these pants and see if you enjoy the workwear aesthetic. And finally, you can wear it cuffed or uncuffed. And uh, yeah, so I don't really have much to say about this. If you guys want to watch an extensive video, my second YouTube video was talking about Dickies 874s. Uh, so definitely check that out. But we're going to leave it here. All right, next, let's talk denim. We do have a few different type of denims when it comes to this section. Firstly, we will begin with Levi's and we do have different type of numbers. First and foremost, let's begin with the Levi's 501s. And when it comes to 501s, wearing it with my Jordan 1s and my Dunks, it has more of a skinnier fit to the body compared to the other type of pants I like to wear. But nonetheless, I find them very, very nice. The only inconvenience when it comes to the 501s is at the bottom. It kind of gives it like a stacking effect when I wear it with my high top sneakers. So one thing that I do personally is that I kind of cut it in the inside to kind of give it a little bit of a flare and um, I don't know, I just kind of like the look of once again having the pants engulf the sneaker and it kind of gives it a nice silhouette. So it's skinny and then at the end it just kind of flares out, which gives a nice silhouette to the body. In addition, when it comes to the pants that I like to buy, personally, I like the more battered, beat up type of looking pants, dirts, paint splatters rips everywhere all that good stuff i really do love compared to having a brand new clean untouched pair and i do have a ton of incredibly distressed denim quick example looking at this second pair right here this is a pair of 501s but the knee is completely obliterated blown out to shreds and i just really like the look like i don't know what it is some people find it, you know, very ugly, but in my opinion, pairing this with Jordan 1s or Dunks is perfect. The next pair of Levi's are the 550s in this washed out black color. And the main difference when it comes to this and the 501s, the 550s have a little bit more of a wider fit to them. And for this particular pair, I decided not to flare them at all and kind of keep them at default as I didn't want all my Levi's denim to be flared pants. It kind of has that little stacking effect that I was talking about earlier, which kind of bothers me a little bit, but I'm just going to leave it as it. And the wash on this pair is absolutely gorgeous. And surprisingly, this pair doesn't have any distressing details or rips or anything anywhere. And I intend to keep it as is 
just because all my other trousers and bottoms are heavily ripped and distressed. And in my opinion, having at least one, I guess, clean pair is an essential in every person's wardrobe. All right, so wrapping up the denim portion of this video, right here we have arguably my favorite pair of denims in my entire collection. And I'm not even sure of the brand. It has no tags whatsoever on the inside. People always ask me, what are these like pants? Like what is the brand? And I can't even answer the question. At first I thought they were Hollisters, but upon further inspection, really genuinely don't know what brand it is. And I'm just really beating myself up because this is my favorite pair. Similarly to the Dickies 874s, I heavily showed these in prior videos. So I'm not gonna talk about these too much, but I just absolutely love the silhouette it gives to, I guess, the bottom portion of the outfit. As you guys can see in the B-roll footage, it kind of has like a flared slash wide fit to them and it engulfs the entire sneaker exactly how I like it. So this is definitely my go-to when it comes to my denims and my favorite in my entire collection. All right, so jumping back into the workwear space, let's talk about my favorite type of pants at the moment. And right here we have the Carhartt double knees that are absolutely trashed in this olive green color. First and foremost, when it comes to the Carhartt double knees, the fabric craftsmanship and the overall details are exceptional. And for this particular pair, I was able to scoop them up at the thrift store for a couple dollars. I've seen a ton of Carhartts at the thrift store, so don't really be afraid to look there if you're once again trying or like getting into workwear. Once again, this particular pair is absolutely battered. The double knees are ripped right open. The bottoms are super frayed and I'm looking like the Incredible Hulk in this business but they are absolutely beautiful. As I always mention in my videos, my style comprises of different styles. It is a mix of streetwear, I guess Americana, military, and workwear. And I really love merging just the streetwear aesthetic with the workwear look. So having the Jordans or I guess Dunk Highs into the mix with the double knees is a beautiful combo in my opinion. Skipping over to our next set of items, right here we have the real tree or woodland camel bottoms. And first we have a pair of cargos from Wrangler and the second one is a pair of denims from Wrangler. So let's really just talk about it briefly. My thing is that when I wear pants, I really want it to be comfortable, have a lot of space. And when it comes to these cargos right here, they are incredibly spacious. It's more of like a wider silhouette and I absolutely love wearing these with my Jordans or my Dunk Highs. The print itself has like blotches of woodland camel. It's not like a total woodland camel pants. It just kind of has like little blotches here and there of the prints, which I find very nice. And the washed effect that the pants have is absolutely gorgeous. And as of a month ago, these have been my most worn pants in my entire collection. And it pairs real nice with all the different type of colors when it comes to the Jordan ones or the dunks. And jumping over to our second pair of Wrangler bottoms. This one has more of like a denim-ish fabric to it. It's very structured and when it comes to the fit of it, it's more of like a straighter cut than the wider cargos that we had earlier. The color itself is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a very washed brown cream-ish mix. It's a very interesting color. And echoing what I said about the cargos, this pants in particular can be paired with any kind of color. It doesn't really matter. Blues, orange, reds, greens, uh, navies, so on and so forth. There isn't really a type of color that is only stuck with this type of pants. So yes, Woodland Camel Pants and real tree Cargos. Let's jump over to our final item. All right, so to end the video, we have our very last pair of bottoms. And right here we have the raw denims from Capital. And right off the bat, as you guys can see, just the fit and the shape of these pants are absolutely perfect. I love the super wide look and I just love how it puddles over the dunks. 
when it comes to denims, the ones that I stick to are predominantly the washed out blues and like the charcoal grays. But you absolutely need at least one pair of raw denims in your collection. And it couldn't be a better pair than these capital bottoms. So when it comes to the fit itself, it has a pretty similar fit to the Uniqlo women's trousers. It's a very wide oversized type of look. And compared to the Uniqlo trousers, just because this is made out of a raw denim, it has more of a structured fit, really is a rigid material. And overall a solid pickup when it comes to my denims as besides this piece i don't really own any raw denim items all right guys so that was my favorite type of pants to wear with my jordan ones and my dunk highs hope you guys enjoyed the video let's jump over to our outro all right so right before i get out of here i just wanted to kind of do something off topic once again Showing you guys, this is like one of my more interesting finds. I picked this up last week and it's a Cavalier, I guess Jordan 1 Chicago bootleg from 1985. It does retain that 1985 shape, which is dope. Some guy commented on the picture that I posted of these particular sneakers, uh, saying that he had these shoes in 1985 and these were like the bootleg of the Jordan 1s. And I just really like them. It's really interesting. And it's kind of cool to see a bootleg from 1985. I know Lil Yachty has the, has like Air Sangs or something like that. And then there's like the Pro, Pro Jogs or something similar like that. But this Cavalier sneaker, this is the first time I encounter it and it is super dope. In my size, quality is actually really good. Um, it's made in Korea. So once again, the Jordan 1s from 85 are all made in Korea. And yeah, just kind of like a little cool find that I want to show you guys right before I get out of here. And yeah, Cavaliers. If anybody has information on the sneaker, you know, definitely let me know in the comments down below as I was kind of looking online and there's nothing really much that pops up about these sneakers. So here you go. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification bell so whenever I drop a brand new video, you'll be updated. As always, follow your boy on Instagram at RageMia. Post a lot of fit pics, mood board, all that good stuff. You know, hit me up on the DMs if you have any questions. Also, you know, if you guys have any video ideas that I can do at the crib, let me know in the comments down below. So for the next video, I'm finally going to be doing the subscriber outfits video. I'm going to post more information on my Instagram, I guess, like the following week. So if you guys want to submit your outfits, it doesn't need to be like a current outfit. It can be an outfit you took like two years ago, whatever the case may be. And yeah, so I'm going to put some information about that in um, my Instagram. So just stay tuned for that. But if you guys have any other videos that I can kind of do at the crib without really being outside, as I'm like itching, I'm itching to do a vlog. There's a lot of things that I want to do, uh, like thrifting, vlogs and all that good stuff. But, you know, we have to self quarantine and just kind of stay at the crib. And uh, yeah, whatever the case may be, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. You boys out of here, gotta edit this video. See you guys next time. Peace.